What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I made a video uh, since it's uh, the holidays. I'm home um, and I cleaned some cages today so I decided to do a small update. I'm not going to take any of, the, any of the animals out so I'll show you my, some of my breeding, uh, breeding projects this year. Uh, I'm gonna start off. You can see the humidity in my room right now is 45%. The and ambient temp at 75. It's winter time, so humidity is a little tough here in New Jersey. But my humidifier just ran out of water, so I just fill it up so it should bring it back up. Radiant, um, not radiant, my space heater to keep the amb ambient temperature in here. So I keep the humidity around 50% during the winter month, and inside the cage is maintains about 65. So they're all probably in their highs. Most a lot of these animals recently ate, so just all just digesting. Uh, but there is a carpet jungle. She's always out and hanging out. Here is my Central American motley, which just gave me a litter this year. My one of my favorite jungles. All these other animals are just all hiding in the cages. So the cages that without a light is the, the males were taken out or the big females are breeding. So none of these guys are out. That's my Suriname in there. Here's a, got a flashlight, my Paradigm Girl. She's breeding my Hypo Jungle Hat Sharp. Uh, the males, I took them out a couple of days ago to give them a small meal. And she's in shed. Big motley girl. She's huge. And down here is let me get the flashlight. My big albino girl, she's 2009, and my pastel jungle. I've been going at it. Uh, the male is four years old, and the albino gave me a litter, what, three years ago? So I'm sure this will work out. And these are my baby back, uh, baby uh, rack from Sea Serpent. Love these. I use these uh, uh, paper from Uline. Easy to clean. Just swap it out when they uh, go to the bathroom. That's uh, Motley, Albino Motley, Central American. That male I'm gonna probably just keep. Nice sun glow there. Um, I still have like, what, 10 more animals to sell. I am holding three uh, since I can't ship during quarter month here right now. And I've been really slacking with my sales ad. So that's another thing about breeding boys. So if you're gonna have a litter, you got to make sure you have the right setup and plus you got to think about at least if they don't sell um, keeping them for at least a year these guys might be here longer than that but I don't know I do use all these feeding cards and shedding card uh, uh, for record what are you doing Kratos? that's my big sun glow male probably the biggest uh, male that I have that's a 2011 over six feet. Here is my pastel possible jungle girl. She slugged out last year. I'm gonna give her a year off and see what happens next season. Here is let's see. This is my hypo jungle to a hypo arabesque breeding. Uh, Suriname girl up there. Oh, I forgot to show you one here. This was my pickup this year. It's a Suriname baby 2016. Love, love, love this boy. Let's see. Oh, and well, I hope you didn't know. I do have a Pac Man frog. I think, what is it, like strawberry pigment? I think something like that. He goes into hibernation during 
winter time doesn't really eat. Um, and then here is the V70 rack. These are the 10 tubs. Just show you this. This was my other addition this year. Ah, you won't be able to see it. She's in her hide. Another Surinam 2015. That was a keeper from the breeder, and I was able to convince him. Um, there's an Arabesque female that was born here in 2014. Very nice animal. So I do have three pairings this year. Um, I only usually do about only two uh, for the past two years. Out of two pairings, only one was successful. You just never know what the breeding bull is. Uh, my main priority is the health of the animals. I'm just glad that the other females who didn't take, they made a full recovery and doing well. So that's it for now. Um, if you guys, any of you interested in those Central American boas, those are considered um, dwarf boas because they stay pretty small. The female down there, the full grown, is less than six feet, and the male's up there. Um, he's probably maxed that at four feet now. So yeah, going back to Central American, if you guys are interested, let me know. Uh, I know I'm not act that active here on YouTube, but um, I'll put a link below for my Facebook page. I'm 90% there for sugar for my reptiles. I don't do any social media for personal stuff. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and Happy New Year.